guys, welcome back. We're now working on question number 35. So this says log base two of one fourth equals what? So uh, what you have to remember in order to do this question is how to convert from exponential form to logarithm form. I guess you don't have to do it this way, but this is the way I would recommend doing it. You could theoretically do this on a calculator using the change of base formula, but looking at the answer choices here, it doesn't look like they want you to do that. So in order to convert something from log to base form, we have to remember this. So if we have uh, y equals log base b of x, when we convert this into exponent form, this becomes our base of the log. And then I basically think of these two as switching sides. So the b was with the x, now it's gonna be, oops, yeah, sorry. The b was with the x, so now it's gonna be with the y, and that's gonna be equal to x. So going back to this example, if we have log base two of 1 fourth, and let's just say this equals x because that's what we're solving for, this becomes 2 to the x. Remember, this is always our base of the exponent and these flip sides. So 2 to the x equals 1 fourth. So now here, 1 fourth, so here, I'm gonna rewrite it here. This is the same as 2 to the x equals 1 over 2 squared. Now we have two to the x is equal to two to the negative two. So that tells us that x equals negative two. So this is probably the harder part. Um, this is just honestly just comes from practice. You just have to remember that whenever you have something to a power of something, the easiest way is to break it down and find the common base. I think we did a problem like this in the earlier, uh, earlier videos, probably like 30, 31. But yeah, if you can get a common base like this, it's gonna make it a lot easier. The other thing to note is that if you have a positive exponent and you want to change the, like if you wanna bring it from the denominator to the numerator or vice versa, you have to make it negative. So if you have, let's say like three to the negative two and you wanna make this exponent positive, that brings this to the bottom. So the negative, makes it basically swap uh, between the numerator and the denominator. And then from there, you just have to remember two to the x. Uh, if you have the same base, the exponents must be equal for the quantities to be equal. So that means S x must equal negative two. So that is answer choice B. All right, well, thank you so much for watching. If you had any trouble with this question, I, I recommend reviewing logarithmic and exponential forms and how to convert between the two and possibly just exponents in general if you had any trouble with this part. All right, thanks so much for watching. Leave any questions, comments, concerns, recommendations, requests in the comment box below and I will get back to you. Thanks for watching.